Did, did Zach ever talk about um, God, like, in a sense, like, just about his character? Like, did he ever talk to you about God specifically and his relationship? Mm. That is a good question. You know, we, we talked about a lot of big stuff. Um, you know, he was a teenager, so he, and so he didn't have a whole lifetime to sort of build his faith and sort of figure things out. Mm -hmm. Um, so we talked a lot about, you know, like what, what is it going to be like when you pass into eternity with God and and what might that look like? And there were parts of that that he was afraid of, Mm -hmm. you know, so we did talk about those things because, we've never done it. Mm -hmm. You know, we've never done it. And that was one thing as a mom that was frustrating for me because I knew I wasn't going to be able to give him any advice on how to die. Mm -hmm. I hadn't done it. Um, so we talked about those things. He, you know, he always understood that he was bearing a cross, Mm -hmm. that he was carrying a cross along with Christ. He understood that his suffering had value because of his faith. Mm -hmm. That Christ showed us how to do that. And and I think that was one thing that really saved him. You know, that that's that's the joy that you could see on his face, even though he was suffering. He understood that this had purpose and meaning. Yes. But he wrestled with that too. You know, that wasn't and that and that was really one of the reasons that I wrote the book is because I wanted people to to see what was underneath, because it wasn't all pretty. It wasn't easy. It was hard. He had to wrestle some things out. Mm -hmm. Um, One of the things that he was able to talk to a confirmation class at our church, Mm -hmm. and he kind of wrote out the speech, and then I ended up talking to um, his close friends and and the youth minister as well. And one of the things that he realized in his own suffering, um, and he, he wrote this out somewhere, I can't remember where, but he said, pain is a joke. It's just Satan's way of getting under your skin Mm -hmm. and distracting you. Mm -hmm. But that his faith, you know, that he, he really tried to encourage the kids. Like there is something real and solid in your faith that will carry you. And he really did understand that he, he knew that and he relied on it. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Um, is there, um, is there any key verses for you that really um, comforted comforted you in a way that just really um, mm. uh, helped you stand up? I guess kind of stand up, maybe even to Satan and some lies he might have been telling you. I don't know what it might like, just some deceiving about and perspective on things. Um, that might he, he. I mean, he's always pulling on us. I feel like at least I, I, like there's a darkness uh, and just kind of we need God and His Scripture and His Word just to kind of. Um, guide us back to the target, kind of. Yeah. What's this really about? Um, well, I'm trying to think of any specific verse. I do a lot of meditating. We're Catholic, so we have the rosary, and the rosary is meditations on different parts of Jesus' life, mm-hmm. and you kind of look at Jesus' life through his mother's eyes. Mm-hmm. And so that's where I would meditate on, mm-hmm. like, the carrying of the cross, the agony in the garden when Christ was praying. So those things became very real and powerful for me because I was doing that with my son. Mm -hmm. Um, So those things, I I really, I spent a lot of time meditating on that. The one thing, um, one one time I remember in particular, and I, I wrote about this too, was when Zach was, I found him downstairs crying. Um, and it was, he was, it was probably about two months before he died. And okay. it's, I, I, I came downstairs, he was in the dark, he was crying, and I, I said, what's wrong? And, if, you know, of course, silly question. And he's just afraid. You know, I'm afraid of dying. I'm afraid of what this is going to be like. And um, he'd called his girlfriend Amy over. She she came over. It was like 11 o'clock at night um, to sit with him. But I just prayed over him and just prayed that Satan would leave him alone because I think fear is, a, is a big weapon mm-hmm. for Satan. I, I think that's the thing that he uses a lot to get us to do, mm-hmm. to shed God mm-hmm. because fear is not born from faith. Right. You know, that's not from God. Mm-hmm. 
And once his girlfriend Amy got there and I knew he was okay and he was starting to feel better, um, that's when I just dropped to my knees as a mom and I just prayed that God would send St. Michael in particular, the archangel, and just protect our family and our home from that spirit of fear because I did not want fear to enter in. We didn't need that. Um, and I just didn't want it to have the upper hand because it was too distracting. Mm -hmm. You know, there was, there was preparation that needed to happen and fear was going to get in the way Mm -hmm. and it worked. And I texted all of my closest friends and family and said, please get on your knees and pray now because he needs it. Um, and, and we were very much protected after that. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. (laughs) 